In our paper, The Epistemic Potentials of Book-Based Democracy, my co-author Felix Gelsbeck and I bring together two strands of literature on democracy. On the one hand, there is some literature that argues that democracy has epistemic benefits, benefits with regard to knowledge, because it brings together the voices of all members of a society and it has mechanisms for allowing their perspectives to matter for politics. On the other hand, there is a literature on democratizing work, giving workers more voice in how companies or other organizations are run. And what we argue is that at least if the mechanisms are designed well, the epistemic benefits that have been argued for with regard to political democracy could also be reaped with regard to workplace democracy. For example, if voters can bring together all their perspectives, then they can make sure that incompetent leaders don't stay in office. And the same can be said if workers in companies have the right to vote for their bosses, because workers often know best whether or not um, bosses are doing a good job. The debate about workplace democracy has lots of different arguments in favor of workplace democracy, but there are always questions about whether it's feasible, whether it can be sufficiently efficient to make sure that the tasks of companies or other workplaces are actually fulfilled and it doesn't end in some kind of anarchistic chaos. But if our arguments are correct, then this shows that there are also potential efficiency gains from democratizing workplaces. And so one very important counter argument to workplace democracy can be at least weakened if these mechanisms actually apply. Um, this is a theoretical paper. So a very interesting question is whether it also applies in practice and how you would un try to understand this empirically. There are some studies that show that democratic firms in the sense of cooperatives or firms that have at least co-determination and worker representation at the board level are in fact not so inefficient. They can compete on international markets and they can also compete with companies that don't give workers any voice. But what would be interesting and important would be to explore in more detail whether these epistemic benefits of co-determination or of the structure of cooperatives are really effective in the way that we here predict on a theoretical basis.